Welcome to Gun Thoughts, guys. Today, we're gonna to be testing passive aiming versus active aiming with lasers. What's the first thing on the outline? Uh, first thing on the outline is welcome to Gun Thoughts. <laughs> welcome. Um, the second thing on the outline is you telling us why we're here today. Yeah, why are we here today? Are we here to get flexed on or what? Yep. All right. So he had a video idea in mm -hmm. his brain, and the idea was. Well, tell us why you had that idea, because you were you're terminally online. So he's online. Professionally oh. online, actually. He's professionally terminally online. Yeah. He has so, only fans. Browsing on Facebook, what did, yeah, so, what did you see? In the past couple of weeks, I've seen people saying things on Facebook about uh, how it's uh, very difficult or very suboptimal to passively aim with, uh, night, vision. with night vision. And uh, I think that that is false. But... I wanted to do some testing, so I... Wait, do you still think it's false, or did you think it was false? I mean, for me, it's not false. I hate you. <laughs> Long story short... Can you it, buy skill? <laughs> is it better to aim with a laser or not? Passive aiming, is it good? Yes or no? Black and white answers only. Gun thoughts, here we go. Technically, shooting with a thermal... Shut up! Nah, technically shooting with a thermal... Nice job. Thanks. Idiot. Also, why are you wearing this shirt today? Why are you wearing this shirt today? I told you I was going to wear this. Uh, yeah, but I was already wearing it this whole week. But you didn't tell me you were... <laughs> you didn't say that. Oh. What is passive aiming? Yeah, so passive aiming is aiming without illuminating or sending out a light source. Um, the way that we were doing it is we were moving our PBS-14, or duels if you have them, <laughs> behind the optic right here, and we were using our tube to look through the optic. We basically like this. Imagine this is one tube and it's not the other tube and I'm looking through the optic like this as I'm shooting. Mm -hmm. The basic concept is you're looking through that, you're looking at the reticle, you're looking through your target through the tube or around the tube if you have a small enough optic. That you and this can do is that. why some optics have night vision settings. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, the reason we kept our tubes behind the optic versus putting on the opposite eye and sort of using that bend in technique is we found that to be not super accurate. So. It works for a couple shots and then your brain does some weird stuff, or at least my brain does, and then you stop hitting the target, basically. It'll hit like eight inches to the side. It's really weird. Give it a shot yourself if you have it. Uh, it maybe it'll work. work for you. Yeah, maybe, maybe. your brain is different. Yeah. Maybe you're built different. To figure out if passive aiming is viable or not, um, what we did was we went to the range and we brought all of our night vision and all of our night vision equipment, and we decided to shoot a few drills and then shoot some long range and see what happened when we tried to passive aim. Quick overview of our shooting conditions. It was uh, almost a new moon, so very little ambient light. Stars were not totally out. It was pretty dark where we were shooting. Um, I was using a PBS-14, about 2000 FOM PBS-14. White phosphor. White phosphor, thin filmed. He was using katanas that are insane, super expensive. Uh, I don't even know, they're magical. <laughs> Um, I think filmed. they allow you to see into the past as well. <laughs> I agree. You can see ghosts you can with see these. Your, your mistakes. <laughs> he was using uh, PBS 14 as well. Um, Green tube, super budget, thin filmed, mystery specs. Hey guys, today this video is going to be brought to you by True Shot Ammo. They were kind enough to send us Norma 55 grain full metal jacket 556 ammo. This ammo is awesome, works on all of our guns. Cycles of guns great. Basically XM193, it's a 55 grain bullet. Loaded pretty hot, 3250. Shoots accurate out to 200 yards. Looks great under night vision. So honestly, I think it's a great ammo. Home defense, plinking, whatever your needs are. Mine is shooting in the trash. And I absolutely love this ammo. You should see this ammo punch through a washing machine and then see how that washing machine looks two weeks later in the National Forest. Beautiful. If you want to buy some ammo from True Shot and help Gun Thoughts out, what you can do is you can go down to the description on YouTube. Unfortunately, we cannot link directly to True Shot, but you can follow that link, go to our website, and then you can click on our link there. That's going to get you on a True Shot's page. You can buy some ammo through them. It's awesome ammo, um, and it helps us out too. So 
Unfortunately, due to YouTube, we can't just post a link, but if you go down there, you can follow that link through our website, go shop for some ammo through them and get yourself some nice ammo, help Gun Thoughts out, and win-win. Back to the video. Back to the video. We've got one target here at about, I don't know, five yards, and then we've got two targets down there at 20 yards. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot five yard target, one of the 20 yard targets, five yard target, and then finish on the other 20 yard target. And that's it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Stand, Stand by. by. All right, so I'm using the OG Poverty S14, putting the, the P from, from PVS14 is putting the P in Poverty. Yeah, so um, like $2,300 green tube, kind of and it's not really a factor when I'm using illumination, but we're gonna see it here on the passive aiming. It's really hard for me to see the targets through the EOTech. Stand by. Stand by. down there. That was a really crazy split though. Stand, Stand by. by. Good gang on God, dude. Us two had better runs using the laser. He had a better run in terms of hit factor using passive aiming, but it was about half a second slower. It was better because he had much more precision with his hits. At this point, I didn't realize that these guys could see things through their tubes. I thought that it was mm -hmm. normal that I was seeing things. You bring the optic in front of you and then you just guess where the target was and shoot at where you saw it disappear. Mm -hmm. But yeah. With the laser, not only do I not dry fire it the same amount, it felt a little harder to have it settle on really specific points of the target. Um, but as far as seeing things, both were about a wash for me. I never dry fire with the laser and I was much better with the laser. And I think the reason for that is I was able to actually use correct transition technique. And I was able to move my tube to the next target, wait for that laser to move onto that target and then fire my shots. And you can stay target focused using mm -hmm. the laser with one tube. Whereas with single tube, once the dots in front of it, it's really hard to. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the other difficulty I had with passive aiming, and I really like the EOTech for passive aiming, but the size of the hood and then the size of the circle around the dot as well made it hard to find that target with transitions. So as I was transitioning from target to target, I had to move the hood across the target and then move the circle across the target and then make sure that dot presented in the right area of that target. So I actually made sure I got my hits. So it took a little bit more technique, a little bit more work to use the EOTech, but definitely doable. They weren't too far off to be totally honest, but for never practicing with the laser, it definitely showed how powerful the laser was, at least for this drill. Powerful. Power. Okay, so next up, we decided to do the exact same drill again, except we did it with a pistol this time, using um, this Hollow Sun PID Duel that they so kindly sent to us to try out. It has a white light, it has a visible laser, and it has an IR laser, which is really weird but it's the only pistol mountable IR laser we had. So we decided to try some laser shooting with the pistol versus passive aiming. So roll the tape. We're starting off the barrel cause we don't have a holster that fits the hollow sun thingy. So are we doing like hands on the barrel or something? Sure. Okay. Are you ready? Stand, Stand by. I think all of us found that shooting the pistol passive through the red dot in here was a million times easier than using the IR laser on this IR laser. It was just really weird using the laser on a pistol. It was super weird. Because every time you shoot, your red dot might go like blip, but the red mm -hmm. dot going 
boop equals the laser He's going. going right. The data says that we were all mo beta and mo fasta aiming passive. Um, That's what the data says. You can't argue with it. Do you hate science? Do you yep. hate science? So, That's right. Gun Thought Science Division here telling you passive aiming with the pistol is the way to go. All so right. at this point, we were all cold. Yeah, so we were freezing. All tired, except for me. I had chosen to take my jacket off and wear only my plate carrier because I thought it would look cool. Turns out it didn't look very cool because my arms aren't very big, which is <laughs> disappointing. I but... think you're massive, dude. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I feel better now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so what was the next thing <laughs> that you made us do? Uh, the next thing that we did <clears throat> was a very small stage. Okay guys, so next up we're gonna shoot a little mini course of fire here. Um, why are we doing that? We're doing it to test whether passive aiming is okay when you're moving around, moving your feet. Are you ready? Are you ready? Stand by. Um, how did we do on the field stage? What's the science say? Oh, dude, honestly, it, the science says that it didn't go for so good. <laughs> <laughs> on a course of fire where we are running around and moving and shooting, the laser just won out for all of us. For me personally, <laughs> at this point, it had gotten even darker and I couldn't see <laughs> out of this <laughs> thing. Um, so it's your superpower. When we were standing and shooting, it was okay because when I would bring the gun up into my eye line, it would block the targets. But the good news was the targets aren't moving and I'm not moving. So there is no relative change in where they are. So I could see them and now I don't see them, but I can still shoot at where I knew they were. Now, once I'm running around, once I'm blocking my vision with the optic, there's a lot more guesswork going on. So. Instead of shooting at noises, he was shooting at memories. Yeah. For me, it uh, it was actually kind of similar uh, in scores. And again, I had better hits uh, with passive. I was warm and I could see. Mm, stop flexing on us. That you're flexing your warmth. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about shooting that course of fire? Uh, it was fine. Yeah, it's not a huge difference. Uh, honestly, the way that we all shoot with lasers is we mount the gun normally. We don't do the stupid shooting from the hip thing. I think it, it actually, is a little bit easier. It actually was a huge difference. Yeah, two, was it? Two hip, one and a half hip pack. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't a, feel like a huge a difference. <laughs> look, guys, look, 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 hey, you know what? Ignore these guys. There's a lot of numbers on this screen. It doesn't matter. Focus on me. Focus on me here, okay? <laughs> it's about vibes, dude. Now. I liked shooting the laser, but passive was also okay. You know, if you want to be a passive boy, be a passive boy. You got this. If you want to be a passive boy, buy more expensive night vision. Um, yes. Spoiler. Yeah, that's true. With the laser, it does feel a little bit more natural just to kind of bring that gun up and then just turn that laser on, see your target, take a shot, and then move on. To the and then target. again, like with the single tube with the laser, you can shoot normally like how you would with target mm -hmm. focus, looking at the targets, seeing the reticle, uh, the laser pointer on the target and pulling the trigger. So then we, um, then we shot some long range because we were, we were like, ah, shucks. All we've done is blast at um, close targets that I can't see and they can see. But um, so then we were like, what if we shot at 200 yards and saw what it's like to also shoot at targets that you can't see? So then we did that. Easy, dude. I love lasers now. Lasers are good. Um, yeah, long range. You know, I'll talk to my experience with long range. Um, Let's hear it. Did, did it get brighter? Something, something changed the lighting. Something changed. I don't think it got brighter. It got colder. 
it's like I feel like I feel like we were out there and it was like dark, you couldn't see anything, and then oh no, you put this on. Oh yeah, yeah. that's what changed. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it turns out when you have really good night vision, you can see the target. So yeah. for context, we had a black steel target. It was an AC zone. What is it? 200, 300? It was 200, 200 ish. At 200 ish yards. Yeah. And uh, we were just kind of shooting at it, plinking at it, whatever. Trying to see if we could hit it both passive and laser aiming. And mm -hmm. spoiler alert, the two of us couldn't even really f see it mm -hmm. at all without using some sort of illumination. Like it was maybe a vaguely darker spot in the berm and we were only knowing to look there because we knew where we had put it. Um, it was a little bit more challenging. Uh, we intentionally painted it a color that would contrast um, and I could see it, but when I was passively aiming, the dot even on the least or on the dimmest setting would still uh, cover it slightly. So I would just move the dot out of the out of the line of sight for it and then uh, just move the dot back onto it. And I was able to get some hits passively. Yeah, so then <laughs> I tried looking through these and I realized that I had been being Conned. lied to the entire night. <laughs> I had been thinking, oh, everyone else can't see just like me. And then I put these on and it was like looking into two like pure crystal blue pools of perfectly reflective spring water on a nice summer's day. It was like, it was like it was f***ing daytime outside suddenly and I could see everything. I saw the face of God in these <laughs> night vision tubes and it made me really jealous that my night vision tubes sucked. And then I got home and I didn't care about it anymore. But <laughs> until then I was pretty pissed off because I had been conned. Final thoughts. <sighs> my final thoughts are that for most situations, active aiming, so laser, laser beams. beams, are can definitely you, faster. Can you just please refer to it by its name, which is oh. laser beams? Okay. Yeah. In my opinion, in most situations, laser beams are more. Don't do that. Sorry. Don't it, do it's, serious. Okay. it's serious. Laser. That's serious. Laser beams. Yeah. Are faster and can be more accurate as long as you aim more. aim more i don't know as long as you zero your laser to that <laughs> no helps. that does help but i didn't do that in, in my opinion uh shooting with lasers is more feasible than passive aiming however i don't think that passive aiming is completely useless even with uh lower spec tubes it's still possible and it's still something that I think people should practice doing. Your limitations are really just kind of boil down to what you can see. And that kind of comes with your, your night vision. Yeah, so I guess the point that we're trying to get at here is um, passive aiming is pay to win. Um, <laughs> if you have a really bad night vision tube like me, Passive aiming is probably going to be, in most situations, not very useful to you, um, or at least it's going to be pretty difficult. Uh, if you have really good ambient light, it becomes a lot easier. I've, you know, played with this night vision tube for a while now, and I've used it in different lighting conditions. And if we had a full moon, I probably would have been able to see the targets a lot better. With the low light that we had, it was... Um, a lot of guesswork going on basically when I was trying to passive aim and the laser was way way more reliable um, except for with the pistol. Uh, with the pistol this optic is small enough that it was only covering one target at a time so that, <laughs> that was easier. Um, but yeah uh, just generally speaking the better your night vision tube is the better your passive aiming experience is going to be. I think consider your application for this. If you're just broke and you don't want to buy a laser, passive aiming is an option if your tube works with it. Um, I would say in that case, if you're broke, if you've got a brokey ass tube like mine and you don't have a laser. Just get Surefire to send you a... Yeah, get Surefire to send you a free Surefire IR light. Use that to have illumination when you're trying to passive aim when it's dark out. And this will get you through your LARPing phase until you can afford a laser. <laughs> Well, the, that's still part of the LARPing phase. 
Yeah, because you're more secretive. You're like a secret agent. Yeah, it'll get you yeah. to like the yeah. secret agent phase. Oh, okay. Anyway, basically a lot of variables variables that go into this, mm -hmm. but basically passive aiming in our scenario did not work out super great for us. Um, I thought it felt pretty good. It felt pretty natural. There are definitely some hurdles to passive aiming though. So it's things like the your optic, wallet, your shut budget. up, shut. I'm talking. <laughs> I have the talking stick. Uh, the optic size, There's the, the reticle stick. size. Other such things make passive aiming either easier or harder. The quality of your tubes, things like that all affect how well you're gonna be able to passively aim. With that being said, aiming with the laser was a little bit more effective, a little bit easier, especially for something we don't really dry fire. If uh, you're in a situation where using a laser would give away your position, I think you might be uh, way more than you think. And you should probably log off, you start lifting, start running. Hide. And try hiding. Yeah, Good point. Just get off the internet. Delete you your social media. Much bigger problems. Okay. Advice to you is you got to lift, you got to run, you got to take testosterone. Honestly, I don't really care what they do um, as long as they like, like, comment, and subscribe. That's a good point also. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Um, I will literally enable all of your bad habits as long as you like, comment, and subscribe. And better yet, support our Patreon. Yep. <laughs> he's looking at uh, he's looking at my d through the thermal. No, right I'm looking now. at his. D through yeah, mine. No. Much warmer. Mine's touching. All right, anyway. Um, I can't see yours now. I can't see it, bro. It's. Where <laughs> uh, Slate Black Industries. Use code Thoughts or Gun Thoughts for five percent off. Um, Hunter Constantine belt. Uh, Code thoughts or thoughts again? Thoughts mm -hmm. or thought? Which one is it? You said you've you had figured it out, and then I forgot it. Okay, so it's thoughts or thought. Yep. Uh, Hunter Constantine belt that will get you a discount on the only EDC belt that I wear. What else do we have? True shot. Oh, yeah, ammo. true shot ammo, dudes. Do you guys need some ammo? I, you probably do to uh, practice your passive aiming. To practice your passive aiming. If you need some ammo to practice your passive aiming, there's gonna be a link in the description. Like we said earlier, that link can't take you directly to their website. Otherwise, YouTube is gonna bend us over a barrel and show us the 50 states. So what we've done is we have a link that goes to our website and then we have a link on there where if you shop with TrueShot, we get a small commission back in return. If you need some ammo, go check them out. If they have ammo that you want at a reasonable price, if you make that purchase with that link, we really appreciate that. Guys, do you want to see a review on the Night Force Attacker 1 to 8? If you do, like, comment, and subscribe. With the thermal? No, we don't care about it. Yeah, they probably do. But yeah, because like, they're f they're weirdos. They want, to see, they want to see thermal farts. Guys, like, comment, and subscribe for thermal farts video. Bye. Bye. We each were running suppressed SBRs. Um, we each had, oh, oh sick, dude. We each, we each had a Viz laser and we each had a dot that was for good for passive aiming. I was using EOTech EX, XPS3. I was using EOTech EXPS3 also because yeah. I am a gentleman. And what were you using? I was using Aimpoint Comp ah. M5. Ew, ah. dude, gross. Gross, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> um, he was using a D-Ball D2. Mm -hmm. He was using a Maul. Ah. I was using <laughs> the Purst. Cool and good. Yeah. Cool, yeah. cool and good. Mm -hmm. Cool and embargo. Uh, cool and cool and, and rare. Uh, Bam. Oh, f <laughs> like this. You stuff? guys ever seen that Twilight Zone episode where Have the you guys guy? Ever seen Twilight. The Twilight Zone episode where the guy has like the glasses and he hates people but he loves reading books and then he drops everybody dies except him and he's in the library by himself and he's like oh my god I have all the time to read the books and he drops his glasses on the ground and they break and he's like no that's gonna be him when I shine the purse into his eyes. I bought this night vision, but now I can't see. But do you like Jacob or Edward? What? <coughs> there was a dark moon this night. We were yeah. running this and this and this. Yeah, These are our tubes. But you yeah, have to say it right like now. you're telling a story. and Like it was a dark and stormy night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I got that. What? Whoa. You jealous? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was some timer issues that made me want to go a little bit slower. But, uh, you know... Yeah. That's because you designed the course of fire in a way that it was hard to time you. Should have gone from left to right. I agree, yeah. Okay, well, mm. I asked for input, um, well, and I didn't realize everyone that. just told that. me that I was poop. Yeah, because we were... Because <laughs> you're poop, dude. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are poop, and we were cold. No, I'm not poop. <laughs> I was warm, and I could see. Uh, Even better if you've got, got two of them. Guys. Yeah, if you got two of them... 
passive aiming should be very easy for you. Um, if it's not, you're dumb. Uh, uh, that's, yep. that's overly harsh. You're not dumb. Online argument one. Nice job, dude. Hell yeah, bro. <clears throat> Finish it with ad hominem. You're not dumb. You're just <laughs> bad at shooting. You're just an idiot. And oh. You're bad at shooting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're just an imbecile. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. In fact, dumb is not offensive enough. <laughs> you are really He's dead. literally getting ads for Chipotle on his Instagram. Because <laughs> he keeps talking about it, dude. He won't shut the hell up about Chipotle. Chipotle, 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 Chipotle. Chipotle, Chipotle, Chipotle.